Hey, it's Rachel, a guilt-free positive parenting specialist bringing relief to helpless, overwhelmed parents who want to raise responsible, confident children without adding more stress or guilt to your life. Today I'm going to talk about preparing for the new year since that's the time of year it is. And I'll be giving you a guilt-free positive parenting spin on New Year's advice. Because I know you already get a lot of advice this time of year about how to make next year even better, but I'm not one to jump on the bandwagon, so I want to give you a guilt-free version of New Year's advice. Now, I don't think you'll be surprised to hear that my advice for making next year better has to do with taking care of yourself, but I want to do it in a way that is realistic and will not make you feel worse. But before I give you my suggestions, I want to defend you, because of course taking care of everyone else instead of yourself comes first. Everyone else needs taken care of. You have tasks to complete, you have decisions to make, children to raise, a household to manage, relationships to navigate, and then you wake up and do the same thing the very next day. Honestly, that is life, and I'm not unrealistic enough to advise you to make a big change to all of that. So I'm going to give you two tips for how to find you without having to make huge changes. Because I find that having to make these big changes and not being able to do it is where the guilt comes in. So of course my solution, as always, is about making deposits. But instead of depositing to your kids, which I talk about a lot, I want you to make deposits for yourself in really simple ways. So tip number one for depositing in the moment is that now that the gift giving season is over, figure out some activity that you really want to do. Choose something that when you do it will make you feel really good, really energized and really happy. Choose an activity, not a thing, but an activity that will make an impact. Because realistically, you might not be able to do this activity on a regular basis. Now, this one activity that you want to do may be really hard to think of. My suggestion is to consider something you used to enjoy doing before you had kids. Maybe it was going for a hike, or maybe it was spending an afternoon doing crafts, or having coffee with friends. Now, I'm not asking you to commit to this activity on an ongoing basis. I just want you to do it once. Don't feel bad when you can't find the time over and over to do this one thing. Take care of yourself once and feel the benefits. Start 2016 from a good place like that. So tip number two, which is depositing proactively, is to figure out the one thing that would make a big difference in your life in 2016. Is it that you need to get the same, on the same page with your spouse when it comes to finances? Or is it that you need to get away to get your son to stop complaining about his homework and just do it? Figure out what that one thing is and determine the solution now. But don't implement the solution because you already have enough to do already. Just have it in your back pocket when you need it. Knowing that it's there can be such a relief. And knowing that you don't have to act on it right now can also be a huge relief. Just pull out that solution when you need it. Improve your life one step at a time, whenever you can, however you can. That's the way we do this, one step at a time. So I hope these two tips give you some ideas for how to plan a new year that brings you more peace and enjoyment. If you want more information on how to use deposits to allow yourself to feel good about your parenting, ask me about the Parenting by Deposit program where I teach you specifically how to raise kids who feel good about themselves and make healthy choices, even if you're not a perfect parent and never will be. See you next time.